Yeah, I think we're going to be repaired quite quickly. So here, this is where the wing bolt goes. This got ripped out completely. So that plastic bit down there was ripped out. I've pushed it back in at the moment just to keep it safe. And what I'll be doing is putting thin foam safe CA around it to hold it in place. I'll then be using foam tack to glue that back in there. And the wings, which I've got tucked away over here, don't seem to have much damage at all. I mean, they've got a little bit of battle damage over here. And there's a crease here. But they're actually quite sound, as are all the rockets, the fuel tanks, the wheels. Uh, the only thing I've got to do is, of course, test the servos to make sure they work and reconnect this wire lead to the ORX before I attach the wings. Yeah, so what I'll do as I glue this together, I will put some cocktail sticks through it. Let's see if I can show you this. It's a bit hard, so I'm messing around with the lights and everything. That is where it all happened. And in a way, I was really lucky that it didn't cause a fire. Little bit of progress, just thought I'd show it to you. Sorry about the door, we've got windows and everything open at the moment. So this is the fake engine. Been glued back together and sprayed. <coughs> and I've uh, greyed out the canopy. So basically, that's what she'll look like. And of course I could just, as I explained earlier, use that pole to do a bind if I need to. Yep, it's coming back together. And of course the most important thing, doesn't matter if it's tea or coffee, but you need a hot beverage while you're repairing. I might be tempting fate here, but I'm going to say it. If these had been bolster, they would have been smashed to smithereens. So I've ended up having to epoxy this. I don't know how the other glues would hold it together. And I don't know why. So what I've got to do now is where those gaps I'm going to fill with epoxy and micro balloons. It looks like a powder and they're called micro balloons. You mix that with epoxy and then you can use it like a paste. So I've just got to strengthen this up. Quick updates. I scrapped my plan about making a new engine mount and I rebuilt the broken one. And this is the result. If I can bring this up here so you can see it. So it was broken in several places. Both sides were broken off. What I've done, I've epoxied them together. And I've filled in any missing bits of wood with epoxy and micro balloons. And also cocktail sticks have been epoxied in the holes. I filed it down. I took photographs before I dismantled this metal piece because you can see the wedge. And that gives right thrust because this goes in that way into the aircraft. And there's the little grommet on the bottom which you can use to release the motor. And then once that's epoxied in, I can mount the motor and just lock it in place with that. But you would be absolutely amazed how strong that is now. But I trust that. I've filed it, messed it, cut it. It's pretty solid. 
and it's a bit heavier than it was which is what I want <laughs> so I've screwed that back in place next job is to get that into the fuselage along with this piece this is the monstrosity that I've made <laughs> it's like a porcupine this is the engine mount in place that's held in with epoxy all around then the fuselage is joined together using foam tack and these cocktail sticks have been pushed through the foam to help bind it together so the way I've done this is I've put foam tack along the seams first put them together split them apart put them together split them apart then I've used one of these bamboo sticks cut to the correct size to go across the front of the aircraft to hold the splits apart to let the foam tack curve for a little bit while that was going on I mixed the epoxy up mix the epoxy onto the engine mount then put the epoxy also into the foam into the grooves on the foam put the engine mount in took the piece of bamboo holding the whole fuselage apart put it all together pushed it all together put the pegs in so this engine mount had to be slid slid had to slide it over slightly because the mount can move in the foam and the reason it had to slide over is so this grub screw here is in line with the hole underneath as I said it doesn't look pretty so I've been pretty busy I tested the ailerons and they're working absolutely fine so I'm good about that one of these rockets had a broken nose so I've fixed that so here's the fuselage so far I've trimmed all the sticks off the cocktail sticks and I've added 10, 20, 25, 30 grams of iron hidden in the front this is all being glued it's got a bit of a gap there but I'll fill that now over here this is all glued this is the hole to release the motor and it's in line so I'm happy with that so next I'm thinking I might embed another 10 grams either side of this so I'll have 40 grams embedded in it but of course the other thing with this is here's the battery I can now just shove it straight in and put it wherever I like and then if necessary I'll put a block there if I push it right forward progress is being made we're really rocketing now tested the wings put them back on something I decided to do was just to put a bit of tape over here where the two little pieces of wood on the wing connect to the fuselage because there is a bit of distortion in the fuselage and I just wanted to make sure that doesn't rock about but fixing this in place on the inside worked really well so I'm pleased about that, that's back on I put the cowl flaps back on so that's good I've put the engine facing on but I haven't glued it in place yet and I've got the motor mount in place as you know and I've got the motor in the motor mount prop and everything on so currently it doesn't have the battery in so when I try and balance it uh, the way it's tail heavy of course so I've got 30 grams already in the nose what I need to find out is how much more I need to put in so I'll put the battery in as far up as it will go put that back on and see how tail heavy it is it's going out of the way 
Ooh. Oh hey, I don't think it is. Okay, that's a wall burner, that's dead straight. Put ten on it. I'll put that ten on the inside, don't worry. That's it. Slightly nose heavy. Yeah. So I need to put another ten grams in the nose. Which I can do with a 1000 milliamp battery pushed right forward. Yeah, excellent. Good. I've added 10 more grams of iron on the nose. I haven't put the engine back over yet. So you can see in there, I've got 20 round the outer edge in fives, 5, 10, 15, 20. And I've got another two slabs of 10 down the bottom here, leaving a gap. I didn't want to put too many in there, leaving a gap for airflow to go through to the speed controller. That's 40 grams of weight, so I'm actually 10 grams lighter on the nose. And the COG I get for that is slightly nose heavy. You can see that, just slightly nose heavy.